Welcome back, Flare community. I hope you're all well and having an incredible day as always. And yes, in today's video, we're going to be talking about staked XRP and its architecture, the system that allows Firelight and XRP Fi to really thrive on the Flare network. Let's jump in. So we're over here on X and this is a post from the Flare official account which came out earlier today. As you can see there is a diagram here which talks about or displays the actual architecture of the system. But before we jump into that we're going to give this a read and talk about the process and how it actually works. So scrolling up to the top here. Ever wish you could stake your XRP and earn yield like on Ethereum? XRP Ledger doesn't support native staking. But thanks to the innovation of STXRP, which is staked XRP, soon you can on Flare. So here is how it works. The first step here is to bridge XRP into FXRP on the Flare network. Now, if you've been here for a while, you may already know this process. You deposit XRP via the F asset protocol. The Flare data connector, the FDC, verifies that transaction. After the verification takes place, you receive FXRP, which is an ERC20 asset on the Flare network. Now, as many of you know, you can actually already use FXRP and DeFi on Songbird today. And you can expect even more DeFi use cases once it hits mainnet. Step two, stake FXRP to get STXRP or staked XRP. What you have to do is deposit FXRP into the Firelight Vault. The liquid staking token contract mints staked XRP. Your FXRP is staked to secured service networks, known as SSNs, which help secure protocols across ecosystems while earning additional rewards. Staked XRP equals your staking receipt and the yield that it generates. So just before we move on here, I want to talk about a similar product that you may be familiar with. If we go up to this here, to Scepter Liquid Staking, this is the exact same premise. You have your FLR, you can wrap your FLR, and then you can stake your FLR, which on the Flare network becomes SFLR. Now you may notice the ratio between FLR and SFLR increasing over time. And that's because all of the yield from the delegation rewards, or should I say the staking rewards, and the monthly flare drops are actually encompassed as part of that token. So when the time comes for you to redeem your SFLR for the original FLR, it actually is more valuable or it contains more FLR because you haven't been receiving the rewards directly. This is the exact same with STXRP or staked XRP. So once you have your staked XRP, what can you do with it? Well, use cases for staked XRP include borrowing and using staked XRP as collateral to unlock liquidity without selling, earning rewards like RFLR while you borrow. And this is a prime example of what I anticipate to be the Kinetic Markets Protocol, obviously live right now on the Flare Network. You can also provide liquidity. Provide staked liquidity on decentralized exchanges and earn trading fees on top of staking yield. So that would mean decentralized exchanges like BlazeSwap, like Enosis, which also distribute their native assets as well, APS, and also we have SparkDEX too. The third use case is leverage. Use staked XRP and protocols like Cyclo Finance for liquidation free leverage. Of course, I do err on the side of caution when using leverage, but again, this is a use case that you can have with staked XRP. Now, 
since XRP does not natively have all of this functionality, this is where the things get really interesting and the flywheel starts spinning. The more XRP is bridged and staked because of this functionality, it means that more utility and liquidity for the staked XRP. That makes staked XRP become more attractive to hold, then as a result, even more XRP flows into the Flare network. The XRP DeFi loop just got started. They said that they're working hard to get it into your hands. Guides, tutorials, and full walkthroughs are coming soon. So this is absolutely great news. And if you do want to get hold of my personal strategy, feel free to check the link below where you can access the Patreon group where once XRP Fi goes live, I will be generating a lot of tutorials and walkthroughs about how to use this to maximum effect. Before we jump into the diagram here, Firelight is actually an application that is going to be launching, as many of you know, and it's also going to be utilized by NASDAQ listed Vivo Power. And it's deploying or committed to deploy 100 million in XRP on the Flare networks. This is incredible news and really going to bolster the total value locked on the network. This application, Firelight, is actually built by Centora, the institutional DeFi layer. So Centora provides the institutional grade foundation for powering the next generation of DeFi and real world asset solutions. Highly respectable and it's Incredible to see them deploying such an application as we see the hype for XRP Fi really start to ramp up. So let's get into this diagram here. So you have the user here and you can deposit and withdraw F assets or XRP into the F asset system. So here is the XRP ledger and you interact with the F asset protocol by sending your XRP to an agent and that mints FXRP on the Flare network. This process should be very familiar for those who have participated in minting FXRP on Songbird before. Now, from here, what can you actually do? Well, you can actually just use your FXRP directly to participate in decentralized exchanges, lending, yield market, too. So, but what is the better solution, arguably? It may be potentially better to stake this FXRP and create a liquid staking token. So what do you do? You send your FXRP to the Firelight Vault. From the Firelight Vault, you can stake and unstake. And if you do choose to stake, you integrate, or sorry, you interact with the Firelight LST contract, liquid staking token contract. From here, you will mint staked XRP, just like you have SFLR, but obviously the XRP version. Now from here, you can access all of these original uh, applications for generating yield, but you also have this here, the Secured Service Networks or SSNs. This is where the staked XRP is actually generating a yield just from holding it. You're getting paid a yield to secure various external networks for holding the token. Of course, all of this is reversible where you can unstake your staked XRP and get it back to FXRP. And from there, you can bring it back to the XRP ledger or unlock it on the XRP ledger and hold it as XRP. This really is going to open up a lot of opportunities and I foresee very generous RFLR rewards and I would highly recommend being prepared for such situations. You want to have your XRP ready, you want to have Flare ready and you also want to use or have ready USDT zero, because this is of particular interest to the Flare team. It seems like the top dog when it comes to stable coins and what they want to push 
for the network. One of the biggest benefits of USDT is that it has a direct deposit and withdrawal from the Flare network to an exchange, and that exchange is Kraken. So exciting times coming ahead. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the link below if you want to join the Patreon for some exclusive content. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'm out. For mission control, we have liftoff.